Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Today we've got a nice egg sack pulling. Well, I hope it's going to be a nice egg sack pulling because we haven't actually had a look yet. This is going to be our Carabiner Versicolor. This is one of um, three females that we have on egg sacks at the moment. And um, this one now has been in here for some 38 days. And uh, she was paired. Where are we? She was paired on the 29th of the 12th, 21. So the 29th of December. And we had an egg sack dropped on the 28th of January. So literally a month after pairing, we produced an egg sack. And it is now 38 days um, from when that egg sack was, was dropped. So we had a real nice, easy pairing. You would have seen the pairing video of the Versicolor. And um, yeah, they're a real they're a real breeze to do actually. They, uh, the females can come out a little bit hot and heavy at first, but they soon cotton on to what's going on and they settle down real fast. So what we're going to do today, we are going to pull this one. Now we have done these before. Females have eaten them, and the sacks have been a little bit on the poor side. So uh, they've often got smaller. So we're going to see what. As is this one. I can actually see inside there, and uh, it does look rather small. Oh, it's not looking particularly hopeful. Right, let's have a little oh, butchers. Um, now, we've not seen this female since she sort of blocked herself in. She's still holding on to it, so it sort of suggests that it might be okay. See, see if we can't. She let me just take it. Mm. It does look now. She's not bothered trying to do anything there, but this does look like it's been started to be opened up. So maybe. Maybe it is good, and uh, she was starting to get ready to uh, open it up. Right, let's have a little look. See what we got. As you can see here, you can. This is where it was thick, but now we're down to like the last little layer there. So this would suggest that our female is getting ready to open this. So fingers crossed, we we're viable. Very, very gently now. Can't actually feel anything. Hmm. It's actually feeling quite hard. Yeah, I don't think this is any good. This is all dried up. Very strange. Yep, look at that. All dried up. Come on. Absolutely solid. So I wonder what happened there. This is literally just a solid lump. Right then, we are going to have a look at the other one while we're here. So this one was done at exactly the same time. And this has been 38 days as well. 
her sack looks much bigger. We can see down here, this is her sack here. So we can um, we'll see. Let's have a look, see if this one is any better. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we've got. It's going to break into a web. It's very, very tough webbing. She will soon repair this again when she's ready. Right, this one's quite deep. So, let's see whether we can uh, have a look in there. Very, very close. All right, now this sack looks a hundred percent better. Um, Definitely looking more so. Just grab a quick photograph. Right, let's see if we can't get it. Now she's actually protecting this egg sac and she's got a hold of it, which is something the other one didn't do. And she's climbing up my tongs. Yeah, she don't want to let this one go. Here we go, we got it. So we're going to close her in. Back on there. Right, so let's see what this now. As you can see, this this sack is looking a whole lot better. This is still very very clean. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it. What are we after? So we've got this one here. And you can see the difference. This is quite sort of dirty look. It's much much smaller as well. This was only like that size. This is much bigger. And we can see how clean it is, and the fact that she didn't want to let it go. And, yeah, it feels like there's a little bit of weight in there. This is interesting, as we can see here. You remember when they, when they lay their eggs, they make a, a web blanket on the floor. And um, this, this here, this edge, all the way around here, this is the edge of that web blanket so she's rolled it all up and then these edges she closes these edges in like that and that's what creates the sack very very cool great structure so what we're going to do now we're going to open this up please please be good news beautiful and clean Go. Slowly work our way through. It already feels better. You can see we're getting down into the next layer. You almost see there's something there. There's movement. movement. There's movement. <laughs> Right. Oh, this is this is good. We can see there's a little bit going on in there. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. <laughs> hey, there you go. See if we can't open this up a little bit more. Wow, there looks to be a good few in there. There we 
Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Very, very pleased with that. Absolutely ideal. So we've taken these guys at 38 days. And they could have quite easily have been left a little longer. Very, very interesting. Look at them. Aren't they marvellous? So we've had one success and one failure. So what we've got here, um, yeah, there's our failure. I don't really want to look at that too much. Um, we've got in the incubator here, we have a pot ready. So this has been sat in there for the last few days, actually. Um, so our water is up to our temperature in our incubator. And this is just our regular regular little nursery. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tip these out, I think. Or we can leave them in. What should we do? Hmm. We're going to go like we always do. We're going to tip them out. Literally put them in there. Luckily, these guys just fall out real easy. Look at some of them are really, really big. Massive big abdomens, and others are small. Literally just tease them off. You in there? This is the beauty of the paintbrush. You can um, just tease them off nice and gently. You have no fear of hurting any of them. They are quite delicate. As they turn into slings, they become much hardier. These haven't got far to go at all. They're already colouring. Look at all of them. That's a really, really good sized sack. Perfect. Come on, guys, there's no need hanging on. There we go. That's everybody. That's the lot. So, yeah, that is a real... Look at that one there. Huge grey abdomen on him. Absolutely massive. Now that appears to be a really good size sack. Um, we will get a count on that and we'll see exactly how many we got. And we can, um, I don't know if our female will take a, a roach maybe. We can try it. See if she's interested. Here she comes. Not overly worried. Oh, she's gone down for him. See her there. Probably can't see that very well. It. She's grabbed him. You can see from the top now. Oh, she's grabbed her food. 
Right then. Well, that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? At least we had two to choose from. And <laughs> unfortunately, we failed on the first one. Now, an interesting point there. These guys are... Um, the one that produced the good sat is actually smaller than the one that produced the dud. Now, um, they were both paired at the same time, or they were, or they were paired with different males. So we know there's we, there's something there, but it's very interesting. Now we've ended up with one good and one bad, and they've been both kept identically. So sometimes it's not always about what you do. Sometimes there's got to be a little bit more said for what's going on with the spider, maybe the males. We had two different males there, so there's, there could be something there. Very, very interesting. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. And I'll see you soon, guys.